Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town. See the beautiful world around. Wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out. We can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the country. Hey everyone, welcome to The Farm Impostor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. My name's Leslie and you're in my kitchen down on our farm. And I'm thrilled to have you here. Hey, if you're new here and you haven't subscribed, or if you're not new and you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to do so. Just hit that subscribe button. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything, and it really helps my channel. And it shows me that people are engaged. So, hey, and if you have hit it, be sure to hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything. Hey, and if you're back, welcome back. You guys know how much I love and appreciate you. Okay, so what are we doing on today's video? Today's video is kind of going to be fun. I'm going to chit chat just a little bit to begin with. So if you're ready to get to the action, go ahead and fast forward it. But you know, I like to talk. So that's okay. That's just who I am and you guys love me. So um, tonight I'm having a little get together, a little party. Um, my niece, Lachelle, you have actually met her before. She, or if you watched that video, you met her before. She is the one who did the cheesecake, the beautiful, absolutely gorgeous Reese peanut butter cheesecake. Hey, and if you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below for you guys. She has actually started a business where her and her friend have gone in together and they are doing permanent jewelry. Now, when I sent this invitation out for people to come and see her demonstration of permanent jewelry, I got the question, is this a tattoo? And that was actually my first question too. Is this tattoos? No, it's not. It's actually where they put like chains. You can have bracelets, you can have rings, you can have necklaces, you can have anklets, whatever. And they solder it to where it doesn't come off. It's always on your body. and uh, But you have the option of getting a clasp, which... I will probably do because I don't sleep well in jewelry, any kind of jewelry. Like if I if I accidentally forget and have a necklace on, by the time I wake up in the morning, I'm like, ah, I get it off. So I have a feeling I will need a clasp on mine. But anyway, so I've got some friends together to come and see her demonstration of permanent jewelry. And I wanted to offer some snacks for tonight. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm making several things this morning and I'm going to just bring you guys along for what I'm making, but I will actually show every step from step one to the end of my almond croissants. Now, I have shared that on my channel before and yes, you can go back and watch that video. Um, the reason I do videos sometimes multiple, multiple times. One is because I film five videos a week and there are going to be repeats. And a lot of times my content is just what I'm making for that day. And two, in case somebody has missed those older videos, they get a chance to watch them now. So we're going to make it, be making almond croissants. I do believe it's been about a year since I've done it on the channel. They are so good. I fell absolutely in love with them when Bryant and I went to St. Martin and uh, I came home and had to learn how to make them and I found a great recipe online and so it is wonderful and we're going to make them again. So um, don't forget, go check out the cheesecake recipe video and also uh, I'm just going to bring you along for a day and then when we start the almond croissant, hey, if you're here just for the almond croissant, I will link down in the description what time stamp it starts so you can fast forward if you need to. But until then, we're just going to cook and clean and do step, just little things here and there. And uh, I've got some 80s music pumping in the background. <laughs> I'm an 80s girl and so... I, I listen to a wide genre of music, mostly Christian contemporary music, uh, but uh, occasionally I want a day of some 80s music, and so I've got that pumping, and um, yeah, we got to do some cleaning, some picking up, 
and some cooking. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to be making my sausage casserole, you know, where you put the crescent sheet down below, you fry up sausage, mix it with cream cheese, um, put it on top and then the crescent roll on top of that, do an egg wash and bake it. I'm going to be doing two of those. And so I'm going to start by frying up some sausage, getting that ready and just setting it aside, having it ready to go when I'm ready to put it together. And I'm probably going to make a pan of brownies, just store-bought brownies. My favorite brand of brownies is the one that comes from Aldi. Y'all have got me saying Aldi, and I don't ever say Aldi, but anyway, Aldi. And um, that's how I pronounce it, um, but I get laughed at a lot, but that's okay. I have a reason for saying Aldi. So anyway, um, but we won't go there because I'm not going to argue. <laughs> just not. And um, so I'm going to fry up some sausage and I'm going to do them in separate batches and I'll bring you back for whatever's happening next.
sausage is fried up. I've got both batches fried up. The brownies are fixing to come out. So why don't we go ahead and get started on our almond croissants. Now, I did not make almonds. I bought them from a bakery, an actual grocery store bakery. Just a local grocery store went in and said, I mean, they already had them boxed up. I just grabbed two boxes. And so we're going to make almond croissants. Basically, all we're having to make is the filling that goes in and then just put them together. So good. Y'all will thank me. You will thank me. You will thank me. It looks so elegant and absolutely gorgeous and beautiful, but it's so easy to make. So let me grab the stuff I need. I'll meet you back right here. So what you're going to start with is almond meal. Now, I, you can definitely buy almond meal, but I'm not. I'm going to just make my own, and all I'm going to do is put it in a food processor and chop up some almonds. And I'm actually going to go ahead and go in with all of this bag because I have, I won't use it all, but I have several bags of almonds, and then I can keep this if I want to make it again pretty soon because I do love these. I think they're wonderful, and if I have this on hand, and I don't have to get out my food processor again, I'm liable to make them again real soon. So let's turn around over here. Once we get these made, I can get to cleaning my house and ready for this party. I'm just going in with that whole bag. Cause like I said, we're gonna top it with some more. We're plugged in, power on. Oh, brownies are ready. Almost there. Not quite, not quite as fine as I want it. So believe it or not, that was almost exactly what I needed. I have a little bit left over, but not enough to do anything with. So, um, yeah, that was not, it did not make as much as I was hoping it would make. So anyway, I have plenty of almonds, so that's a good thing. So let me, in my bowl here, I have a stick of butter that I actually need at room temperature. Stuck it in the microwave for a little bit. Not sure it's quite room temperature enough, but we'll make it go. So let me grab my hand mixer. I'll meet you back right here. All right, I used my hand mixer on the butter and it was actually perfect. So here's what we're going in with. Um, I've already mixed up the butter or beat it up. We're going in with a cup of the almond meal. We're going in with a tablespoon of all-purpose flour. Going in with, um, let's go ahead and go in with our half a cup of sugar a half a teaspoon of lemon juice, teaspoon of vanilla, two eggs, one, and two. All right, now we're just gonna mix this up. It's gonna become a nice, thick paste. I'm gonna grab a spatula to uh, scrape down the sides. We'll beat it a little more. What I said, I forgot the thing was running. I'm gonna grab a spatula and Scrape down the sides. I want to be sure I have everything incorporated. I see some egg over there.
Okay, so let me show you. Um, can you see the little brown flecks in that? Um, I hope the camera's picking it up. I'm not sure if it is or not, but there's little brown flecks, and that comes from the outside of the almond. Now, if you, I love that because I think it gives it a very rustic look, but if by chance you don't like that, then use um, the almond slivers that don't still have the skin on the outside. Um, that's just a simple way to remedy that if you don't like that. I happen to prefer that because I think it gives it a very rustic, um, I just like the way it looks. So, all right, I'm gonna grab my almonds. I'll meet you back right here and we'll get these going and they're gonna be so good, so good. Y'all just, y'all, they are so good. All right, so here are my croissants. I got two boxes. Um, if you live around here, you know what grocery store I went to. Um, these are smaller croissants. Um, Sam's and I believe Walmart may have the larger ones, but since this is a ladies jewelry party I thought we would go with the smaller more dainty type uh, And they make even smaller ones than this, but um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slice these in half You can go all the way through or not that's up to you um, It doesn't matter because they're gonna go right back together but I'm just gonna slice these up and get them on my cookie sheet, but not do anything yet till I get them all sliced. I just like doing everything all at one time and then, then we'll put them together like they're supposed to go. This is such a elegant, but super easy, super easy. Like if you don't have a food processor, I didn't have a food processor for years and then I did have one that, um, Bryant had, we had bought at a yard sale and it was on its last leg. And so I didn't use it for stuff like this. But so if you have one of those, um, are they called magic, magic bullets? The ninja magic bullet thing. Um, those work great to just chop your almonds up. I mean, it's just so easy. And you don't even have to have that. You can put them in a bag, um, crush them up like that. I mean, that takes a little elbow grease, but that's okay. All right, let me go grab my other box of croissants and we'll soon be putting these together. I'm just slicing them in half. I'll show you when I get the other box. Okay, I'm just taking the croissant. And I'm probably not going all the way through. Um, One, because I don't want to cut my hand. <laughs> now, I've never made croissants, but I think we're going to try that on this channel and just do it for the first time together. And if it's a flop, you get to see me have a flop. Um, I don't know when we'll do that. I need to I need to start researching and and reading recipes and all right, so now we are ready to put these together. So what I'm gonna do is I still have my other bag of almonds here. We're gonna need that. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna put one together, maybe two together for you, and then. So you want to put just a little bit of this paste on the inside of your croissant, put it together, and then you want to paint the top of it. And then you're just going to set it down, and what you do at this point is you sprinkle some sliced almonds on top. All right, let me do one more for you. I just open it up. I take the paste, paint the inside. 
you don't want a lot because you don't want to run out and you're putting it on top too but you don't want to skimp on it either and you basically just want to kind of lightly coat the top with this paste set her down and then sprinkle some sliced almonds on top all right i'm going to get my two cookie sheets done and i'll bring you back when we go in the oven well everybody i ended up with 16 croissants that's all the croissants i had and i got very liberal with the paste at the end because i saw i was going to have a little bit left over so i just used it all i didn't want anything to go to waste um however i don't know how many ladies are coming tonight um i kept the invitation fairly small because i didn't know how many people they could get around to because you don't just order something and go home and wait for it to come in they actually put it on they measure and they fix it and everything while you're here so i didn't know how many ladies would be um able to come through but i do know my niece sent out a message on the invitation on the facebook invitation um that if you brought a friend you got a free charm so i may when these come out and we dust them with powdered sugar i may um cut them in half i'm not sure but i'm excited these are so good y'all have got to try these this is so simple i mean just simple 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 all right I'll see you when they come out and we dust them with powdered sugar. They're going in a 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes. So I ended up cutting them in half just so they would go a little bit further. And right now what I'm doing is I'm dusting them with some powdered sugar. And then we're going to plate them up and just have them ready for tonight. So here they are. I've sliced them in half. And I'll just take my little sieve and I heavily coat them in powdered sugar. These are absolutely glorious and delicious. They are definitely a decadent heavenly dessert. All right. So I have this pretty white platter here and we're just going to just haphazardly toss them on here. We're not going to do any rhyme or reason. Oh, look, something broke off of that one. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so good. Mm-mm-mm. So good. And then all these little bits and pieces right here, you can nibble them. Mmm, so good. All right, guys. It's going to be a delicious, wonderful, little sweet treat for tonight. And since I cut them in half, it's they don't have to feel like they're eating all of one big thing. But you can see that filling inside. It just became part of it. It's just wonderful. Now, I do have one that I cut into thirds. Isaac, Bryant, and Daniel are outside working on a tree that we had cut down, the dead one in the front yard. Is that not beautiful? So I'm actually going to take them a bite and uh, see what they think. Well, everyone, the almond croissants are absolutely beautiful and delicious. I nibbled on the stuff left on the cookie sheet, and I took one of them and cut them into thirds, carried... Um, Isaac, Bryant, and Daniel a piece, and uh, they love them. Daniel says, oh my goodness, what is this? And I said, it's an almond croissant, and he loved it. And of course, Bryant and Isaac loved it. So these are a must do. If you have some kind of party coming up or something, you need something just a little bit um, 
a little more elevated. Now mine's not so much elevated because now I've cut them in half and so forth, but they're absolutely gorgeous and beautiful and also delicious. So I cannot wait to indulge on these tonight, but until then, I'm going to say goodbye and I will see you guys on Sunday for the weekend wrap up where we take bits and pieces of our weekend and just kind of meld them all into one video with no rhyme or reason. And then we end up, of course, on the couch. So we will see you then. We'll see you Sunday for couch time. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.